Hey guys, I I just had a magical experience I wanted to share with you again. Um, unlike the other people who share videos about this stuff, I'm going to do it in English. And I'm going to try not to give you a lot of background first. Because if you're here, you know why you're here, and I know what you've been trying to do. You probably have a Lenovo Yoga 730 or something similar. Um, and you've tried to get into the BIOS with all these advanced things. It's not normal, it's advanced. And you can't. The instructions online tell you to do a few things. Let's run down them real quick. Under the normal configuration menu, you want uh, USB legacy is enabled, wireless enabled. Change your SATA controller to AHCI if it isn't. Remember you all need to change it back or Windows won't boot. Probably turn on the power beep, because I did that. This stuff can be on. They say turn off BIOS backflash. Uh, I usually leave hotkey mode off, but it worked. I had it on when it worked this time. So again, you know, superstition. Uh, always on USB is supposed to be disabled. Thunderbolt boot enabled. See, this is that fancy menu, but I want to get you to the good stuff. Stuff you need to worry about. Uh, let's see. Under security, I don't even see it here, but you got to you turn off secure boot. Don't mess with, like, clearing keys. Just turn off secure boot. Uh, in your boot menu, as I mentioned, you want to change that boot mode to legacy support. You want to have fast boot turned off. Disable fast boot. That might also be what it was that magically made it so I could get in. USB boot enabled, obviously. Uh, oh, look at I have a legacy boot devices. That's cool. Anyway, uh, so... Oh, touch screen to... I've never tried touching it before. Okay. Uh, anyway. Uh, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna break my own word. I had moved this boot device up to the top, but I don't know if it matters. I really don't know how much it matters. So, the instructions that you have probably already done are to turn it off, and they sometimes say like, "Wait ten minutes." You don't have to wait ten minutes. Um, you you don't have to wait long at all. They say push the power. There's a video out there that has you pu pushing a bunch of keys and then the power button. Don't do that. It's F2. You have to hit F2. Get all these settings the way I've described. This right here, this is, I went, I got Heron's, I think it's called Heron's, P, Heron PE. It's a, it's a recovery boot drive. Uh, it's the one that I had in the last time that I was successful. So I figured, what the heck. It just... Supposedly it needs to be Windows formatted, but nobody's confirmed that for sure because it is kind of tricky and, and luck-based to get in. Anyway, what I did, this last boot, is I shut it down, I turned it on, and instead of pressing F2 five times, I just did my usual... I kept hitting it. Um... And it, I, I, I want to think I might have even kept hitting it after the screen lit up. And I was bought, brought into the fairyland of magic. Uh, so, uh, that's what you were here for. That's what you needed to know. I think, I think the trick is you get all these settings that I showed you the way that I showed you to do them. Make sure you've rebooted a couple times so that they've taken, like when you switch legacy bleh, support on, uh, you have to reboot to get this stuff to populate. Um, you might have to let it boot into Windows with the settings once. I don't know, because I, I did accidentally get it booting. It, bleh, it did boot into Windows a couple times. Anyway, this is proof positive that just, you know, kind of pounding on the F2 key. When it doesn't work, you can tell pretty quick if it didn't work. Just hold the power button down, wait for it to sh shut down, turn it back on, do it again. <laughs> it's possible that waiting may help a little. My memory is a little fuzzy. It's pretty late. I was supposed to be watching a movie, but I keep stopping and messing with this. So, this is how you get in. Um, if you want a review of the settings that are in there, we'll do that in another video. Thanks for watching.